yard haunt update. So today I started off by doing a little behind the scenes yard haunt tour here, showing you guys everything. And then I came back out, added a few more things and here we are. So we'll walk around, check everything out, show you what we did. Let's get into it. So we still have the scarecrow over here with some corn. We got our jack-o'-lanterns here and our tombstones. In the back, as you can see, we got the red light kind of uplighting the porch, backlighting some of this stuff, uh, trying to break up some of that blue. And then we have the headless horseman, which we added some corn stalks beside, which just kind of sets them apart and kind of, I don't know, gives them a little cool little area. And here we still have this groundbreaker with his tombstone and the pumpkin beside him. Still got Bates Motel Granny, the purple light on her. Got the caretaker. No one will hear your cries for help. The earth will fill your lungs as you try to scream. Buried alive. <laughs> I kind of like the creaking noise he makes. It's it's very fitting because he's a creepy old caretaker, and then. He just does a lot of creaking. It's pretty cool. Over here, we added a light in there. Well, actually, we put batteries in it, and it lights up. So it's one of those you got to remember to shut off in the morning kind of things, but I'll forget about it. So we'll figure that out. But it looks cool, at least. But in the back, we still got the jack-o'-lanterns and the grave digger with the tombstones. But we repositioned the floodlight in the back behind that tombstone, set it up on top of the stake. So now it's shining back in that whole corner, illuminating that groundbreaker and everything beside it. Here we have Demonica. We got the Beetlejuice tombstone. Got the groundbreaker that I made over there. We also got a brand new tombstone out for him. Up top, we got Boogeyman. He's been going off with all this traffic going off. We got Jason and Freddy. Ghost faces on the other side. And then as you can see, Sam on the porch there, we got a pumpkin puck light in his bucket and it looks super cool i love it it looks way better gives you that uh real trick-or-treat vibe definitely really cool i like it and we got the grave robber So last night's update, the uh, the cord was just bad. Went inside, tore them apart, checked everything out, swapped a cord. That was it. So good news. And the other great news is that Scotch Guard spray is working fantastic. So it's been raining pretty much nonstop, and that bag is still dry. So. That's cool. I'm um, over here. Still got our lanterns. They're still going pretty strong. Which is awesome. I love it. And tonight, another new addition. Can't really see it too well right now. But we added lights on the walkway here. I had the same lights on the sidewalk last year. 
But these are a cool little touch. I think they're pretty neat. Uh, the one side's kind of doing what it wants, while the other side's lighting up how I want it to. But, uh, yeah, I think they look cool. Once they pick up and light the same way, um, these will be pretty cool. Got a big reaper. We have our 12 foot skeleton looking very menacing up there. We got Michael Myers up on the porch. Down here, we repositioned the purple light right there and turned it so tonight it shines over here because now we added this floodlight which covers a way bigger area. So I like this. It looks pretty cool. We got the groundbreaker in the back lit up. We got a little bit of this tombstone lit up here now. And then the jack-o'-lantern beside him. The pumpkin puck light. We got a yellow light on Miserable Marie and the Grave Digger. So I think that looks better. I uh, can't wait to see what it looks like from the road. But I think up close here... That yellow definitely looks better than the bright white. And down below here, we got the little light up pumpkin. This one plugs in. We have the tombstone there. We got the grave digger. And we got the jack-o'-lantern beside him. So this new section new light on this section i should say uh definitely lights all this up way better than the other light was so now everything is very blue over here so i'm excited to see what this looks like from the road as well but should give a whole different vibe over here and then as you can see i added a pumpkin puck light inside of that lantern so that's really cool. I do need to remember to go grab the remotes and uh, turn these guys off and on. I meant to do that earlier. So then they'd be on their eight hour timer. So, but unfortunately if I do it now, they won't, won't turn on until 11 o'clock at night. So yeah, it's what it is. I'll let them run all day. I'll refix them tomorrow. But we added a tombstone in the back there to cover the lights and everything back there and then we have we added a fog machine So we have a fog machine hidden back there. It won't be out here all the time, but it'll be out here. And then here we have Old Faithful. Got him lit up. But yeah, we just have the uh, fog machine sitting back here. It has LED lights. You can turn them all on and do all kinds of stuff here. But at the same time, it's actually changing the light on that skeleton sacrifice, which is driving me nuts. But when it changes that one, it changes the one over on the grave digger over there and then the one that's um on the headless horseman so i gotta watch hitting buttons on everything because it keeps changing lights and it's driving me insane earlier it turned them all off 
when I had just came out here and turned everything on, all the lights were off. I'm like, what is going on? So that's something I need to see what I mean. It just changed the light. Now it just dimmed it way down because I hit the off button. Makes no sense what's going on here with these lights. But let's go take a view from the road. So here's our view from the road. The fog rolling through looks cool. It's getting there. Definitely getting there. Yeah, see I hit the on and off button on here and it's making them brighter and dimmer. Makes no sense to me. Let's see if it'll do it over here. What just changed? Yeah, it's making... <laughs> hit the on button and the lights get brighter. Makes no sense. I was just watching the one on the Headless Horseman. But yeah, I think that's looking pretty good as long as those lights stay bright and they stop going dim. But I like the yellow from the road here. I like the yellow on Miserable Marie and the Grave Digger, especially with the corn, which I added more corn there in the back behind that skeleton sacrifice. I made a little bit of a wall from the Grave Digger to the Scarecrow. And then I added a little bit of corn on the left-hand side of it to the fence. So we kind of walled that off, gave it more of a way creepier look to it. That's definitely some creepy looking stuff there. Like some real Children of the Corn Blair Witch. I love it. That's a super cool look. But the, uh, the purple lights and the blue lights looks pretty good from here. You have to let me know down below. In the comments what you guys think of the lights on this side now we got a reaper we got this is such a cool shot here with th these two next to the lanterns it's really cool this side's definitely taking shape too this side's obviously got more purples and blues, but I wish you could see truly what it looks like at night because just sitting here showing you on my phone, it's, it doesn't look as blue on the camera, which kind of stinks, but what are you going to do? And it's starting to come together little by little adding a pumpkin here adding one there adding a light here adding one there changing lights around like i said i need to get out that uh what is she the duck princess i need to get her out here yeah see now these guys are lit up really bright but if i hit the off button on this remote let's let's do that hit the off button but watch Watch this guy and this guy when I hit off. See, both lights went dimmer. I hit on for the fog machine. Both lights got brighter. That's weird. There's definitely a frequency getting crossed. I hate that. It's the only part I hate with all these remotes. Everything, there's a cross frequency with everything. And then lights start changing colors and it drives me nuts. I'm liking the red light back there in the corner that's looking pretty cool i'm liking all the blues and the greens the oranges definitely really starting to come together slowly but surely we're getting there guys and then like i said i'll get that new animatronic out i think we're supposed to get more storms tonight we're supposed to get some friday and also saturday i think um 
but I know down south it's getting hit real hard with hurricanes, tropical storms. So we're going to get some of that too up here in Ohio. But we're just going to get mostly all the rain. But So I'm going to have to be weather aware. But I have everything bagged up. Everything should withstand at least the water. Um, if it starts getting super duper windy, we're going to have to be extremely weather aware. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. But yeah, I'm liking the, uh, the lights down here. Definitely need to change that left-hand side to make a match. But yeah, you have to let me know what you guys think of how the whole display looks. And also, I mean, give me some critiques. What would you change? Do you like the new stuff that I added? Do you like the, the creepy corn over there? Do you like the yellow light over here? Or does the white light look better? I thought the yellow light looked better because it blends with the orange that's over here. And then also disappears with the green. So it kind of blends with both colors. But yeah, you have to let me know what you guys think of the skeleton sacrifice there. And the other lights that we added. But this weekend, hopefully, I can get some more stuff out here. And it's opening weekend for haunt season. So I'll be busy with the pro haunt. But we still got a couple days here. And so far, we still got tomorrow. And then Friday night, I'll be at the pro haunt. And then I'll do an update video after I get home. So, that's it. That's going to do it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for watching. Oh, and I almost forgot. We added a... The same solar light that's on Old Faithful over there. We have the same one over here in the window for Chucky. But he looks way more lit up in this video than he does. His face is literally just lit up. I often insert a photo of what it actually looks like. But definitely looks really, really creepy. Looks really cool. Especially from back here. Like it's just lit up but you can actually see like way into my porch and stuff but in in person here you can't see that 